guys, it's Corey from 585 Outdoors, and today I'm going to be talking to you about using military camouflage for hunting. And um, this is kind of a cool topic, something that I've wanted to talk about for a long time. Um, never really had the opportunity with gun gamers, and this is part of the reason why we have 585 Outdoors, to talk about more obscure things. So using military camouflage for hunting, in my opinion, is a great idea. I understand that um, some people might not like how it looks. Some people may think that it's just not their thing, but for someone who grew up 15 minutes away from a surplus store, and I've had so many other things in my life where I've needed military camouflage, like actually being in the army and playing airsoft, I just think that it's a good idea. So the first camouflage I'm gonna to talk to you today is um, called M81 US Woodland. Now, you've probably seen this, You've probably seen it while hunting. A lot of old timers will wear this camouflage um, because it was readily available in surplus stores and it's not that bad. You have a lot of organic shapes um, which would help you blend in in a woodland environment. And um, it does have a couple drawbacks. Um, some of the drawbacks is there's a lot of black in this camouflage which is kind of the reason why the military got rid of it. Um, but at, on the other hand, you have a lot of green, um, black, and this olive, almost tan, and that really helps in the upland um, and in the woodlands. So it's a pretty good camouflage. It comes in um, a lot of different uh, blends, and it comes in um, different styles of stitching. Like um, this is not a ripstop, um, but this is a really comfortable camouflage to wear, this material. And um, a little more modern, the kind of, one of the replacements for this camouflage, which took way too long, is called Multicam. And this was developed by Cry Precision. And as you can see, it has way less black and it keeps those tans, greens, and um, this dark tan that I would call a coyote. And what's nice about this camouflage is, this is also starting to become readily available because this is becoming the standard uniform for a lot of branches of the military. And what I like about this pattern is it is lighter and it tends to blend in really well with a lot of environments. If I were to compare this to a hunting camouflage, it would be first like Fusion's camo. Uh, this is an excellent camouflage and it has a little bit darker colors, but it contrasts really well with the lighter colors. So this is a great pattern, so is this. This, I can definitely tell you, is much cheaper than this. And these pants are made by Proper. Um, that's a good company that I would look up. Uh, they're very affordable, um, and their camouflage, um, the material that they use is just built really well. And I highly recommend Proper. So after that, um, in between US M81 Woodland and... Um, and uh, multicam, you have UCP. Now, this does not look like UCP. That's because I dyed them. I used a RIT Apple Green um, dye, and you can thank uh, Bruce at Camp Armament for that. And I have turned a pretty useless camouflage into something that's pretty good. And the nice thing about this pattern, uh, UCP would work in the winter. So this is what UCP looks like before you dye it. I've tried to dye this airsoft chest rig and I've had pretty bad results with it, but this is what it would look like normally. Now, this camouflage wouldn't be very bad for a really rocky environment or maybe even an environment that has some snow on it. Um, but if you dye it with a dye, I told you the Rit Apple Green, we can probably put the lint in the description, you can turn the useless UCP camouflage that you can find at a surplus store or maybe even a Goodwill at this point for dirt cheap and turn it into a good spring turkey camo. I've seen some pretty good results with this in terms of people in the field using it. Uh, Bruce at Camp Armament, his video on how to, uh, you can see um, in his video at how effective this camouflage can be. And I highly recommend it, especially if you're an army veteran and you have a bunch of UCPs laying around, dye that stuff. On to the next one. Uh, this is pretty obscure. So this is um, this is a Russian camouflage that I got for Airsoft. But as soon as I got it, I'm like, oh, 
This would be so good for spring turkey. Um, this is uh, the pants to a camouflage schmuck that the Russians got the idea from that, uh, from the Germans. And what's nice about this pattern is it has pretty much all the colors of US M81 woodland, um, which is great. And a little, uh, it has black in it, but it's sporadic and it's moved around so it doesn't look unnatural. And these pants are extremely lightweight. Um, surprisingly, um, they're pretty rugged and they haven't really, uh, they haven't really torn or I haven't seen any pulled stitching or anything. Uh, it is double stitched and you, it has nice pockets on it. But the best thing about this camouflage smock and the pants and the top both have this feature is they are completely reversible. When I mean completely reversible, I mean that even the pockets are reversible with buttons and you can still close the pockets and everything. So I just turned it inside out and now you can see the camouflage pattern is much brighter. So depending on the time of year, this would be great for in the summer. This would be great for late spring, but it could also be good in early fall because it has this lighter kind of uh, shaded um, inside. So excellent, excellent pants. I don't recommend you go out and order these from Russia because the shipping will be expensive and it could take a while. But uh, I know Gray Shop, the website that I got these from, their shipping is much better than it used to be. Um, but the full set for this was about $100 which can definitely be out of someone's price range. So I definitely recommend looking at your American camos, not pay for that Russian shipping. And these are readily available everywhere. So um, military camouflage is great. Um, one of the reasons why it's, it's pretty great is the fact that you have these pretty generic patterns so they can be used in multiple places. Um, I will never uh, shit on Realtree APG or Realtree AP because they're, they're decent camouflages. But for me, I would just rather take this stuff or um, I, would, uh, I would rather take some other types of camouflage that are actually made by hunting companies. So Mossy Oak Bottomlands makes a really nice uh, camouflage that's pretty generic and it looks like bark. And I feel like that camouflage pattern uh, could have been used in the military. It's just a, a really neat kind of rustic old school looking camo that um, has some tradition behind it for sure with, uh, you know, timber duck hunters and turkey hunters. And um, I think we're going to start to see more hunting companies make camouflage patterns like this. And um, one company that has been doing that was Cryptech. Cryptech created all these camouflages to be used by military and law enforcement but I feel like they're gonna have most of their success now um, in the hunting community. Like if you look at Cryptek uh, Mandrake, that's a good camouflage pattern. I actually bought a Field & Stream Cryptek Mandrake jacket for turkey hunting. I haven't really used it because it's always been too warm of a jacket for me to use in the spring and I walk a lot, uh, but it would definitely work, especially in uh, the Northeast and the woodlands. Um, so yeah, that's it. All right guys, well, uh, I hope you enjoyed that short and sweet video. Um, I've been thinking about this for a while, so it kind of just flew out of my mind. Uh, speaking of things flying, if you'd like to see more of this content, like, share, and subscribe, and you can see me throw more stuff that I'm not really a big fan of. And also, if you'd like to rep your 5 5 Pride and get either a t-shirt, hoodie, anything like that, our link to our Teespring store is gonna be in the description of this video below. Um, also, it's really nice actually not having majority of my face all over this now so my partner in crime is now here so yep. welcome Corey first video yay. Yep. yay and we're gonna see you're gonna see more of him now um, oh yeah so again if you guys like the con content and you want to see more of either my face or Corey's face more so of Corey's face because it's beautiful Jon Snow um, please <laughs> yeah, like right. the video subscribe to the channel and please share with your friends just a couple of average dudes just sharing our story so with that this is Corey this is Ian. Thank you for watching.